Thank you very much for those who are watching Ara TV Uganda. I'm Semango Derek with another video. So without wasting any single minute, allow me to give him a chance to introduce himself to you. It's your chance, Mr. First Mango. of all, I thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to be part of you of this show. I'm Kaunda Kenneth, a Ugandan and as well as a Pan-African. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kaunda Kenneth. I promise that at least every week we shall be giving you a video with Mr. Kaunda Kenneth. So, at this time, let's have Mr. Kaunda Kenneth giving us his views on uh, the issue of anisheets that is now rampant in every site of uh, social media, let it be these media houses, media houses they are now all talking about anisheets saga whereby our ministers, uh, especially those in the office of the Prime Minister, their names were included, were included in the stealing of the iron sheets that were meant to be for the people of Kalamoja. So, according to you, Mr. Kaunda Kenneth, a political analyst, what does it indicate for our future as Uganda? I thank you for that uh, information also on the question because yes. uh, one I would first of all thank Ghanis. Uh, on the on that issue of uh, iron sheets, mm. first of all it shows that the people who are representing us in different ministries are corrupt. That's one. Two, mm. it shows that we have people who are serving us but are not patriotic. They are more greedy for wealth mm. and accumulating money than serving the nation. That's my, uh, when we look at, when we go in, in further details of this. Yes. And uh, to that, uh, we, uh, I think also these ministers have showed uh, that they are not responsible because the anishis were meant for the people of Karamoja. Yes. The major aim of these anishis was to see that the people of Karamoja can easily set up their shelters, uh, which can at least stay for a long period of time. However, at the end, these ministers ended up indulging themselves in the anishis scandal, mm. which is quite unfair. One, it portrays the image of Uganda on national level that the ministers who are serving the country are non-patriotic and they are not ready to, to reform other people in the country. And not only that, it has showed that they have disappointed His Excellency President Yuri Kabuta Museveni because he appointed them uh, claiming that they were, they were so uh, good uh, as uh, he declared the fishermen is what? Uh, government. We hoped a lot from these ministers. Yeah. However, by doing this, it has been uh, a very big blunder towards His Excellency of his side. Not only that, it's like they have stabbed him in the chest. They have showed that for them they are not in lane with serving the country patriotically, but for their own interest. So, uh, Mr. Kaunda, according yes. to you, has their master, Yoel Kakutam Seven, has he done uh, anything to combat corruption? Because we see such an issue, at least these ministers would have been arrested in, and uh, imprisoned. So, according to you, has the president done something to combat this? Uh, for the first time, mm. For the first time, I have seen his excellency of Mutam Seven yes. coming out on his loud voice yeah. that whoever indulged in this scandal, they should investigate towards whoever was part of this scandal. Yes. And I think for the first time, to see a minister being taken, uh, face the courts of law, and I request kindly, mm. if it is possible, the president also to order more of them to be arrested. And if not in on, on more, more than that, they should also pay money for wasting 
time to the Ugandan lawyers claiming that we are not part of the Anish scandal and yet some were caught red handed. Just they are trying to blind fraud the entire world and they did not uh, they did not indulge in the Anish scandal and yet the facts are there. Mm -hmm. In fact the clear solution would be they would be put all in courts of law after if they are found guilty all of them be imprisoned to act as a lesson to the rest of Ugandans who have been in that terrain of mismanaging the resources of the country that deters development of Uganda. Because if we are, we are working in such a scenario where everyone takes what he or she feels from the country, then we are not developing the country. Instead, we are deterring the country from development. Yes. And yet what Ugandans need is development. Of course, we have just recovered in fact, we are still recovering yeah. from the great economic depression yeah. uh, that uh, was caused by COVID pandemic. Yes. In fact, it's not only Uganda, but even other, it is a global disease now. Yes. And now you find that such scandals are taking place in the country, then it will generally affect us. And at the end of it all, the country's government will be severely attacked and weakened. It will be like an economic arousa. So I think it shouldn't be one day process, but let there, let be there more investigations to eliminate such behaviors in our nation. Okay, so thank you very uh, very much. So according to you, mm. is it fair uh, for the police to only al arrest a few of the uh, of those ministers who are involved in this scandal? Is it fair for those ones who are arrested and then others? Are left out even still working in their offices of course it is not fair to other to uh, if if justice prevails yeah we expect that these people they would have been uh, stopped from working or uh, attending their offices and they have to, then the the courts of laws all people who are responsible for these cases to carry out clarity in it through investigations after they are if they are found guilty, it would be more better if they are given penalties, be dismissed, and mm. then the, His Excellency, the President, appoints other people who can work for Ugandans, but not people who can work for themselves. Because, of course, we are serving the nation. Mm. In the serving of the nation, there is clarity and justice. But if, if such anishits uh, were not given to people of Karamoja, then that is justice. Mm. Of course, the people of Karamoja will be left in anarchy. And not only that, this brave the people of Karamoja to think that uh, it was a scenario for, for them not to be, do, to be what? To receive the anarchists because if they have not arrested others, that means that they are those whom are favored and those who are not favored. They are far. Yeah. The whole circle should be, whoever was part of this scandal, should be worked upon to provide to provide the clarity to what is the populace in the country otherwise if they are to arrest some and others are not uh, arrested or they have investigated the minor and the majority have not been investigated it shows that the roles work upon to those who are small yeah. and the bigger people are not worked upon if the his excellence appointed these ministers and they were to serve the country. If they were to serve the country, then they should they should be dismissed because this is a sign that they did not have the patriotic heart to serve the nation. So if they are, it, have, it has been like that, they should be dismissed and they appoint other people who can develop the country. Uh, still on the Anishit saga, we see that uh, our speaker is involved in this saga, um, Anitanita Among. Uh, our Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, the Finance Minister. So, do we think that really before even this saga, there, there has been such corruption in the country than, this, uh, than the Iron Sheets? Uh, mismanagement of uh, government resources has mm. been there, mm. but I think this one has been to a bigger extent. It has exposed the majority of these people who have been in, in, in such a uh, sector. Mm. So to this, 
you never you know it is, it is good sometimes to experience something it has showed that uh, people whom we expect much from are the ones who are so perspective in deterring in causing and the development of the country so uh, this they are in such a, in such a scenario these people what i think they have in, now it is an eye open to the country that sincerely people have been mismanaging and misallocating uh, uh, government resources for their personal interest and at the end it affects uh, the nation yes but um when we see or when we take a review and uh, some videos on social media and then on different uh, tv stations i've been seeing some um, politicians saying that that uh, this uh, this could be uh, a diversion of, uh, of very many scandals that are big than uh, the iron sheet saga for example the nssf money uh, these are the saga of uh, the uh, Uganda Airlines. So, could this be true that uh, it is a diversion or it really happened? It may be to a small extent a diversion, mm. but uh, still another party, uh, this part of it, but part B of, part B of it, mm. it is not a diversion because the anxious were there. Mm. And uh, people themselves accepted. So if some accept that the anxious were there and were taken by them, that is the information from the what? The horse's mouth. So they cannot neglect such a fact from the horse's mouth that is just something they version. Of course they version what they, they in, in the news or in the scenario of news, what it covers in news is news. So what was there in the saga? The saga was the NSSF saga. Yes. It was very big, covering up the whole country. Yes. One, Karamoja is a part of Uganda. Mm -hmm. And it is known that in terms of government, Karamoja is a bit behind. Mm -hmm. So if something is tampering with the government of Karamoja and someone is uh, against it, then it has affected the whole country. So the news had to cover the, what? the news to make things go on well. However, in the scenario under which this news came in, came in a bad scenario because uh, it, it was mismanagement of the resources which affects the people of Karamoja and as well as the country and the people who have themselves participated in such mismanagement. Because one, the image of these ministers, despite, I, I don't think that even these ministers can be perspective in a saga that makes their names to be tarnished. Of course, these people, you never know, some have been good to the population, yeah, yeah. but because of such a saga, most of them, they are, they are, they are, they are curve of being popular and having a, a good image in the population has been affected. Therefore, the credibility of these ministers have been undermined to the status of unusual people because yeah. people could not really think of this, that people who are earning millions of money can have a heart which is unsatisfied to the extent that uh, they can mismanage and issues to the, which was made to drop the people of Karamoja. Okay, so I think this could be my last question to you, Mr. Kaunda Kenneth, mm -hmm. and then later we'll be giving us your uh, remarks. We, uh, we saw that the government of Uganda came out uh, as a strategy of clearing the problems of Karamoja. Mm -hmm. It came up and uh, uh, brought in a, a, a whole ministry for the Karamoja issues, yeah. but we see now the the ministry is the one that is still pulling Karamoja down. So what can the government do really to solve the issues of Karamoja? But the issues are issues are, are very clear. Yeah. If we are solving the problems of Uganda, yes. we don't need to bring an American. I mean, an American may be an expert after. Mm. being taught by Uganda, the situation which is in Uganda. Mm. Therefore, the Karamajongis are there who are educated and they know how, how they can work upon themselves yeah. through their problems. Mm. Let that ministry be established and it is purely under the, a person who is direct from Karamoja. And That's then. one. Mm. Because some people, one, we have this scenario, everyone uh, pushes 
development to his or her own what region. Yes, so it is, it is it will be more better to find a real minister from who is appointed from the Karamajongs is done with stabbing a chest to the, the fellow Karamajongs. Mm. That's one. And two, there is that inner uh, inner feeling that I'm working for my own, I'm working for you uh, Ugandans and as well as putting Karamoja on the map because right from childhood I've been hearing uh, never waited the Karamajong to develop. Yeah. As to now it's the same statement. Mm. We need at least a change so that their fellow brothers are now uh, enjoying good schools. We are of course uh, good roads, good hospitals, having uh, representatives who can analyze their problems yeah. and at the end if the government allocates their resources the people of Karamoja can 100% benefit from these resources not whatever comes it is taken out because of course one time we will feel that maybe uh, you, most of the ministers are against the government of Karamoja okay thank you very much so I think those were my questions about the Anshit Saga so as I'm giving you, Mr. Kaunda Kenneth, a chance to give your remarks, uh, I think you will take a, this opportunity uh, to inform our viewers whether the government of, I mean the NRM government, this is the future that they were securing for us. So give your last uh, remarks. Uh, in, in fact, that the, the, the statement securing for our future mm. was a very big statement. Yeah. It had the social, political and gigantic footprints that it had to lay on Uganda as a nation. Yeah. But if, if these ministers who have been appointed not more than even two years mm. have practiced such a move to the Ugandans, it shows that they are fighting against the slogan of NRM. Mm. Therefore, they are enemies of NRM, not even enemies of, enemies of NRM, but to Ugandans, and as well as typical 100 percent ashaming his excellence who appointed them claiming that they were good people and they were ready to serve the nation because serving the nation has got a number of features or characteristics yeah. one you must be patriotic you must be transparent mm -hmm. you must be faithful and have a be with religious heart one if someone who has mismanaged such resources, one is not patriotic, has no love for the country, yeah, that's exactly. one. Two, is against the slogan, which slogan was meant for 45 million Ugandans. Three, it is it, he, they are against his excellence, his excellence, the president, who appointed them. Therefore, in such a scenario, I would beg a kindly by love. If His Excellency is seeing the matter as moving in, in, on that side, to reappoint other ministers who can do their best to make Uganda forward mm. and backward, never. Because at the end of it all, at the end of it all, the slogan will be tarnished, yes. and therefore we shall not see the meaning of the securing for the future. Are we securing the country into the affairs of mismanaging of the funds? Are we securing the country to mismanage, uh, to deter the government of Karamoja? So if it has gone to, to such a level, to the extent that people are crying over this minister, then His Excellency, as the fountain of honor, has the mandate to appoint other people to replace this, who can make that slogan securing for our future direct forward and you can feel their country. Okay, so now give your last remarks to our viewers as we conclude. Uh, sincerely, on, on each of that, mm. uh, my, I, I, I call upon my fellow guys mm. uh, to be patriotic, one, to love their country, yes. uh, have faith wherever they are serving, and they must be God-fearing. Yeah. Because all of these that are coming out are coming in the absence of patriotism, absence of uh, lack of love for the country mm -hmm. and not having faith and they are not God fearing because the whole region, the resources for the whole region have been mismanaged by almost 10 people and the almost 5 million people are to suffer. Is that really fair? So in my conclusion, I call upon my fellow Ghanis, if you have been appointed to serve the country, 
serve with diligently with one heart and remember that one time T you have to leave that office and by leaving that office of course you shall leave you you shall leave history behind is that history of impact is it of positivity or negativity that is what i can tell you my brother okay thank you very much for viewing and liking sharing our videos uh this this was the this week's edition with mr kaunda kenneth a political analyst and author of history books uh, those ones who are offering history at a level history nationalism is an author still history of south africa at all level has the books so go check on them i've been semango derrick just wait uh, for another video i think that will be next week bye bye